Viserai Runeblood, the most anticipated hero of the set. Viserai is a 4 intellect 40 health hero with the following effect. Whenever you play a Runeblade card, if you have played another non-attack action card this turn, create a rune chart token. This is the entire theme of the deck, building up all these tokens and gaining discounts and burning some dot damage on your opponent. I have so many of my friends who have never played this game before have been intrigued by it, but as soon as they saw this hero, they were like, alright, I'm jumping on this train. So a rune chart token has the following effect. When you play an attack action card or an attack with a weapon, destroy rune chart and deal one arcane damage to the target opposing hero. This is a very strong effect. Building up all these tokens and slapping your opponent with a bunch of arcane damage almost every turn it feels like. The amount of pressure this hero seems like it can put on is all because of this one card, or these tokens. But before we go into the cards, we'll go into his weapon. Nebula Blade is a one attack rune blade weapon, two handed sword, with the following effect. Once per turn action, two resource attack. If Nebula Blade hits, create a rune chart token. If you have played a non-attack action card this turn, Nebula Blade gains 3 attack until the end of the turn. So you can simply play any, any non-attack action card and gain 3 attack on this weapon. It's very insane chucking almost anything you want down and then swing with Nebula Blade is amazing and strong and feels like even more opposing as a warrior hitting you every single turn. So I'll go into a few of the action cards. There's one offensive one and then one defensive one. The offensive one is read the runes. It's a common rune blade action with two defense with the following effect. Create one to three rune chart tokens. Very simple, yes. But this on itself will also create a token if you also swing with your weapon as well. This is going to be one of, this is going to be the main card that will set up all your plays, all your attacks, all your defenses, as all your rune blade attacks and reactions and all that will gain discounts and extra effects for the amount of rune chart tokens you have. So this is the offensive one. If you want to play this and then swing with your weapon to deal as much damage in the one go, read the runes as your cards go for. But if you want to play a bit more defensively, Blood Spill Invocation is the card to go for. It is also a common rune blade action, but this one's the aura. It costs one with the following effect. Go again. When an attack action card you control hits, destroy Blood Spill Invocation, then create three rune chart tokens, or one to three. When your hero is dealt damage, destroy blood spill invocation. Now a lot of people I've seen in the community saying that they could just play this very defensive deck and just build up a bunch of these and then never take any damage, but I'm saying that's not the way you play this card. This card is a card that you play if you want to have a discount of all your rune blade cards during your own uh, during your your opponent's turn and then having a bigger bigger setup for your following turn because this effect activates after you hit with an action card you'll keep your rune chant tokens during your opponent's turn while with read the runes they're all destroyed on that one attack after you play it so yes, you got your offensive one and your defensive one, in my opinion. And one of those cards to save your tokens for is Arknight Ascendancy. It is Viscerize Specialization card that costs 6 with 3 defense and a 5 attack with the following effect. Arknight Ascendancy costs 1 less resource to play for each rune chant token you control. If Arknight Ascendancy hits, create X rune chant tokens where x is the damage dealt by arknight ascendancy and then also has dominate as well this is a very strong card though it is only one attack like one main attack but just remember this one is also dealing burn damage with all your rune chant tokens 
and then also setting up some during your defense and then during also for your next turn as well. Another card to save up for, Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath. It is a rune blade action super which pitches for 2, 9 cost, 3 defense and 9 attack. With the following effect, Ninth Blade of the Blood Oath costs 1 less for each rune chant token you control. So if you did want to go with a very defensive kind of build where you build up all these rune chant tokens and hit your opponent with one big attack, this is the card to go for. In my opinion, it is really slow. Um, I remember when Bravo came out, I thought and everyone else around me thought that it's going to be one big hit and then defend for one turn. One big hit and defend for one turn. But it didn't end out being like that. It just ended up being the most defensive other than Fatigue Ninja deck. And the last card we'll look at is Viscerize Specialization Super. It is a 3 pitch, 0 cost, 3 defense, rune blade action with the following effect. Discard a non-attack action card, search your deck for a rune blade attack action card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck, go again. And also, choose one of course. Discard an attack action card, search your deck for a rune blade non-attack action card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck, go again. This is the most consistent card when it comes to searching cards. It's a discard a card, then search whatever other card you need. It's basically sand sketch plan on drugs. Viscerai is definitely going to be a very hard opponent. I don't believe it's the strongest out there still. But we'll see how everything is during the release of Arcane Rising. That's it for the video. If you're new, definitely check out my other videos and subscribe, like, and the rest comment. That's it for the video, and I'll see you in the next one.